five hungry male tigers mate with female lioness 100 times a day. Big cats are one of the most ferocious animals in the wild, and you easily find lions and tigers at the head of these species. For one, they're both the biggest and strongest of the bunch, and it's hard to say which of them can easily come out as the king of the jungle since both of them live in separate continents, and the chances of meeting each other on a day-to-day -day are slim. However, these two can be brought together in captivity, and they'll do anything from challenge each other to a fight for their egos or mate. Yes, you heard me. Tigers and lions can actually mate with themselves. Think it's impossible? Then you might want to stick around and see these five hungry male tigers mate with a female lioness a hundred times a day. Have you ever heard of a tigon? They're the more uncommon products of a copulation between a lion and a tiger. Their cousins, ligons, are more popular because it's easier to see a male lion mate with a tigress than to find male tigers mating with a lioness. And this is due to a couple of reasons. One, they're from two entirely different continents, like I mentioned earlier. And even when you manage to cross that hindrance off the list and get them together in captivity, any male tiger looking to hook up with a lioness would have to watch out for the leader of the pride. Lions don't take it kindly with other lions who try to mate with the females in their pride. A different cat from a different continent is one hell of a long shot, and they won't hesitate to unleash their fury on the erring tiger. However, one can't help but wonder where the lions were when these five hungry tigers went full marathon on this lioness. Mating 100 times a day might sound like a stretch on the truth, but it's true. Lions may claim the front picture when it comes to sheer strength, but they're not able to mate with a female for more than 20 to 30 minutes. But females have the strength for much more. Lioness will typically go 50 rounds in each day, with the promise of going further if the opportunity presents itself. A marathon like that isn't done just because the lioness is horny. It's been proven that mating over extended hours like this stimulates ovulation in a lioness and increases her chances of taking in. Now, the possibility that these five tigers mated with Lioness hundred times without interference from the male in her pride begins to come to light. It might have been a deliberate action to get a Tigon out of the copulation, but the tigers also had to be horny and starved if all five of them couldn't resist the Lioness. Tigons are much harder to find because as strong as tigers are, they can't just walk up to a lioness and try to hook up with her. Lionesses aren't the kind of animals to mate with just anything, not even lions. They do have it in them, but they're mostly restricted to the lion or lions in their pride, and the lions in turn keep other cats from stepping into his shoes. However, if a tiger does come up and a lioness's lion doesn't step up to push him away, she may reluctantly let the tiger in until he's done. The chances of anything coming out of it are minimal anyway, so the male tiger may just get on with it. But you've got to give it to this lioness. Staying down to make with five tigers a hundred times in a day did take a lot of strength and patience. There's absolutely no way a tigon isn't coming out of this. One tiger is chance, two is insurance, but five tigers mating with a single lioness a hundred times in a day is an assurance. Perhaps it is true what a man can do. A woman can do better. For more such interesting content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.